Um, so at this point I can hopefully creep up on the size I want. Um, I mean, another way to do it is to um, use verniers or digital calipers or something like that so I can size the outside and the inside and see what the difference in the measurements are. Um, I tend not to do that. That's telling me the inside's 59 and a bit in millimetres here we're talking. And the inside's 62, so it's two millimetres over, I would say. So if I'm using that, I can use it to estimate how much to take off and then measure it again. I don't normally do it that way. Um, I'll get moderately close and put a taper on the end there. And then this might work better from the overhead. Um, I'll just put a taper on the end of that spigot so I can bring my lid up, push it on that taper and it should leave a, a bit of a burnish mark where it's pressing on that taper. So then I can hopefully take, take this down to the diameter of that burnish mark. This is one of those woods where the burnish marks are very difficult to see. I'm not seeing a lot, so um, even that's not... I don't want to press it so hard that I burn the wood, um, so I'm sort of erring on the side of caution here. Yeah, I can, I can sort of see it now. Some woods burnish better than others, I guess. Um, but I'm, uh, even with that burnish block, I'm still sort of creeping up on it a bit. Taking pretty small cuts. And it's, it's almost there. Bit more to go. And I'm again I'm trying to cut a straight parallel cylinder on this side, so we should end up with two sort of mating straight sided cylinders that are gonna hopefully slide over each other. That's just on the verge of fitting on there, so. Shouldn't need to take a lot more off. I want it snug, but not so tight, I'm not gonna get it back off again. And that's slightly too snug. But, um, yeah, I'm virtually there. So at this point, very light cuts. Try it again. I think that's almost it. I think I've left the bottom bottom end perhaps slightly thicker, so I'll just take a tiny bit off the bottom. I'm going to try and light, light, line up where I think the grain's supposed to line up. That's probably about there. And I'm thinking that's... I could force that on, but it's, I think it's going to be very tight to actually get off if I do. So I just want to ease it. Like I said, I want to hold it to be able to turn, but I don't want it to be so tight I can't get it off again. Oh, so close. <laughs> Been there. Yeah, this is always the point where you just take that that last cut as a, a whisker too thick, yeah. and uh, all of a sudden it's a loose, loose fitting lid. There's 
So I think that's just enough to hold it on. That's tight, but I think I can praise that apart again. So good to go. 